Hello everybody, welcome to part two of Ultimate Ninja Storm. Well not until so Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Passed, but the cycle of battle never ended. And as the violence of the ninja world continued to grow more severe, two shadows walked down a path. What will they find? And what new path will it lead them toward? In the next chapter, two unparalleled warriors. It'll take them to one of the greatest battles of their lives. Alrighty, as in the first video, I had already stated that, you know, we were going to take the Yin path. So, later on we will take the Yang path, but right now we're going to focus on this one. So, right now we have the two unparalleled warriors, which you would either be following either Sasuke's story or Naruto's story. So right now we're going to start off with, with Sasuke's story because you already know that Naruto's story is going to have a lot more action in it because of course he's the main character. However, Sasuke's is probably more than likely going to have more action, I guess you could say. So the second fight is going to be versus Orochimaru. So we're going to start that one right off. Play this one to the end. Land of Fire, Hidden Leaf Village. There stood a boy whose clan had been eradicated by his own elder brother. And another ninja, but we're not gonna, you know, talk about it just yet. Oh, my bad, that's a secret? Okay. A period of time in peace. But as soon as he began walking down the path of revenge, he slipped into darkness. And finally succeeded in conquering his brother, Itachi Uchiha. He let you win that, I'm just saying. But his brother's words had all been lies. The hidden leaf was the real enemy. Soon, the tiny flames of hatred grew into the inferno that was the fourth great ninja war. And as the terrible conflict erupted, as he dashed toward the battlefield, Sasuke Uchiha saw someone completely unexpected. Uh oh, ring any bells. His brother had been revived into the physical world. Ido Tensei. Over time, the two came to terms with each other and were finally brothers once more. But it doesn't last, obviously. And then, after succeeding in what he came to do, Itachi disappeared into the light. Yasaraka Nino Runo, Itachi san. I will always love you. Leaving just one line of truth with his little brother. You know, this part, that part of the actual series actually kind of made me mad, though. Because, you know, one of my favorite female characters in the game, well, and or series, Anko Mitarashi. See, she got, she has, I think, in my opinion, she has a lot more promise than the, what they actually show in the actual, you know, series itself. But they do not give her the credibility or let her actually, you know, show what she are. actually has to Sweet. offer. And you go? And then they, you know, they bring her back, like, all over you know, a series, not a series, but, you know, a whole, so, what was it, four arcs later on, and then they bring in here. Why did you come all this way? Just to, to bring me? back Orochimaru? You know, that's kind of messed up, you know. Well, the thing is, we just happened upon a mind-blowing scroll in Orochimaru's hideout. Take a look. Well, pretty amazing, huh? Yes. They're the ones with all the answers. Of course they are. There's someone I need to see now. Who's that? Orochimaru. Huh? Hmm? What are you talking about? You iced his ass. You know Orochimaru. You really think that'd be enough to vanquish him? You know you can't really fully kill him off either. Jigo, Obviously. Bring that woman too. His name is Anko, thank you. Who is she? A hidden leaf ninja Kabuto kidnapped. The seal absorbed Orochimaru's chakra. We'll just use that to summon Orochimaru back. Whoa, hold on. Reviving Orochimaru is way too dangerous. 
Huh? Curse unsealing. <laughs> uh oh, let it begin. Okay, as always, we're gonna skip through this. You know, whatever happens, happens. I'm just gonna try to do my best within these battles. Some of the conditions I might look at. <laughs> Come on, Roji Maru. Is that all you got? By the way, if you're if you're wondering what I'm saying in Japanese, Yataraka Nimne Muro means a rest in peace, and I actually say that a lot in my games. Either I'll say GG or rest in peace. I don't know why. It's kind of my thing. So. <laughs> enough. It happens. Yes. That'll do for now. Fighting him made me realize that he's a bit different from before. Yeah, he actually, his balls actually dropped this time. So, there's something I want you to do for me, Orochimaru. Yes, you really don't need to explain all that. I've been watching him the whole time, remember? And when you meet them, then what? I know too little. I want them to tell me everything. Uh-oh. You needn't trouble yourself with all that. You're still just a child after all. No. I'm not a child. Not anymore. I can't be a child. I need to know how it all began. I need to know who I should be, what I should be doing. I want to know everything so I can decide what it all means for myself. I See? want to make my own judgments. Then I'll decide what needs to be done. See, this part part actually made me, you know, have hope for Sasuke, you know? Like, before that, he just kept running around. I I like, I, he had an identity now. crisis or something. Like, someone had identity theft. Very well. And then all of a sudden, this dude finally, you know, has an epiphany. Like, oh, snap. Where to? You know, my eyes have been opened. <laughs> oh, to a place you know. And it actually, like I said, it actually gave me hope. Come, let's go. It actually made me quite proud of him. And that concludes part two of Na uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. <laughs> There's that S ranking in. I wonder how long we can keep this going. But I will see you guys in the next video. And then, you know, as always, take care and be safe.